All right, folks. Hey, you enjoyed my last video on new retirement. Here is another uh, software package that I use completely free, completely free version here. It's called Portfolio Visualizer. See up here, back test portfolio allocation. So I've already pre-populated this so we can go through a little bit faster. But if you haven't been using this tool, I think you'll be impressed with it. OK, so this is a way of looking at certain investments you may make, whether it's total stock market, S&P 500 or mutual funds, exchange traded funds. You go in here and you put in uh, what years you'd like to look at. Now it'll automatically correct if you if it can't go back that far. Uh, for example, if a fund was in, created in 2000, it won't go back to 1985 here. But let's uh, let's see how far we can get back here. This includes year to date. Initially, a uh, million dollars is the amount we're putting in these funds. We're going to rebalance them annually. And I got three different funds to look at. We'll start at the bottom. Total U.S. stock market. Uh, that's over here. I'm using VTSMX for total U.S. 100% allocation in this one. Uh, S&P 500. I'm using VFINX 100%. And then I have a collection of Joe's American funds. These are actually funds that are in my bucket three. Okay, so... These are managed funds, okay? I pay an expense ratio on these and that expense ratio is taken into account uh, on this program here. So it's really apples and apples after you pay the expense ratio. And on these American funds, if you, um, if you don't have much to invest, they actually charge a sales uh, fee, uh, which could be quite high, I think maybe as high as 5%. I don't pay that in, in uh, 401ks. I, I don't pay that, never paid that. Uh, I got hooked on American funds when I was 22 years old. It was the only thing my company offered. So I've had these funds for what, 36, pushing 37 years, I've been uh, invested in American funds. So let's take a look at this. So I entered the ticker symbol. I'm gonna hit analyze portfolio. Now, one of the things you'll first notice is it only went back to 1993 because of this VTSMX, um, the, uh, the total, U total U.S. stock market only went back to, uh, you know, uh, 92, May of 92. So they started with 93. OK, so this is actually what is that? Uh, 30 years, 30 years, seven and 23, uh, just short of 30 years. OK, because we're only in May. But. You come down here, there's there's too many things to look at, but I'll just look at a few things. One of the things you can look at first is a performance summary. Million dollar balance, they all started off with, and uh, compound annual growth rate, okay? 10.38 is Joe's American funds. So people ask me why I'm using uh, uh, managed funds is uh, you look right there. Uh, it's, you know, what's that? Uh, almost uh, 0.7 higher over... 30 years. Uh, so that's what a uh, little less than $4 million uh, that was worth, um, you know, to do that if over a long period of time, the standard deviation is actually lower too. And then you got things like this sharp and Sortino ratio. Sharp ratio is looking at this investment versus the risk-free asset, uh, you know, like a I don't know whether they use a 30 day treasury or I, I don't know, but it's something risk free versus total volatility. A higher number is better. So uh, the American funds is is about close to 10 percent better than these other two. Sortino ratio is actually a little bit better. You don't you know, because upside variability <laughs> we like. OK, so Sortino just looks at the investments ver subtracting out the risk-free asset compared to just the downside variability. Again, higher is better. So these American funds uh, looking at this are about 10% better than the S&P 500 in total uh, uh, stock market. So my intent for showing you this is how you can compare. But I also want you to kind of look at this and say, I thought managed funds didn't do as well. Um, certain periods of time, that's true. But uh, my American funds, I I keep buying them. I keep 
holding on to them because they're they've been doing great for me. So you can see a graph of portfolio growth here. Okay, um, and then let's go up to uh, well, let, let's jump down here. This is something interesting to show. So look at the ten year return. Now remember that analysis was over thirty years. The ten year return of American funds is actually less, like a percent less, okay, than these other two. That's the last 10 years. We've been in this bull market we've been in uh, from, you know, 2010 to 2021 really, you know, was a big for especially large cap U.S. stocks, which these are dominated by. Uh, this American funds, we're going to dive into that. The American funds dominated the previous 20 years, but let's look at, let's dive into like exposures. So you can see uh, Joe's American funds, S&P 500 total US here. Notice that about 20% of my funds are in international and international has been a dog the last 15 years. This is what the difference is between the, the S&P 500 total US and S&P fund. But looking forward, the PE ratios on uh, global X US and emerging markets is significantly better. These are like, you know, these are my words. These are like value funds now. These are on sale versus the US stock market. So looking forward, I even like this better. <laughs> I even like uh, my uh, my funds a little better. So you can look at holdings here, what, how much large growth and blend, all that kind of stuff in this software package. You can look at other metrics, all the, you know, God, a lot, whatever you want to look at. Comparing, you can look at annual returns, look at all that. Annual returns, they color code it red. Uh, monthly returns, if you want to get down in that uh, level of detail. Uh, really just all these different rolling returns. So, you know, you can look at, okay, let's let, look at five year periods going back 30 years, five year periods. What's the American funds done? 10.51 compared to S and P 500, 9.63 compared to uh, total U S 9.64. So you can see American funds, uh, beats here when you're looking at five year rolling returns. Again, that's why I'm I'm still on this. Um, depends on what you think going forward. Um, if you know if you think it's all about large cap U.S. buy S and P 500, you you won't be disappointed with that. If you think that the international this is the time for international and don't have a short term bias here, yes, I agree. The last 10 15 years, it's all been about U.S. large cap, but is that going to be the next 20 years? I don't know. I don't know. So this is bucket three money for me. So uh, hopefully this makes sense. This is a very, this is a free program. You can get a paid version and it will save your portfolio. It'll save this portfolio in here. Uh, but uh, with a free version, you have to type it in and you know, I'm, I'm not typing in that many. <laughs> uh, so I, I just go with the free version. So I hope this helps. This is very simple program, very intuitive. You can't really mess this up to compare portfolios uh, to one another. Now, this is looking backwards and you got to be very careful looking backwards, especially when it gets in the bonds. They've been all over the place. Um, but uh, if you want to compare to, you know, equities, uh, portfolio of equities, um, I found this to be an exceptional tool to uh, helping me decide what to do. Um, if I was new starting out, my kids are new and starting out. I recommend they go with, you know, uh, something like the total uh, stock market. Just go with this low cost. Go with this. You're going to get a decent return. I just haven't had a reason. <laughs> and I look at this every quarter to switch from my managed funds over because it's done extremely well for me over the last 30 plus years that I've been investing in it. So that's what I'm doing. So if you got any questions, you think I'm crazy, let me know. Let me know where you're from in the comments. And as always, this is Joe.